Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create safety valve revit family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D1. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 26 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D2. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 55 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D3. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 21 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D4. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 57.5 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D5. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 75 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L1. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 80 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L2. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 253 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L3. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L4. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 324 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L5. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for T1. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 14 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for T2. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 4 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for T3. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for T3 parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 9 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8.7 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to T3. 
Go to Create. Select the Revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 8.7 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Insert dimension and assign parameter to T3. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter 1. Keep type and click OK. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter 2. Keep type and click OK. Set 25 mm and 32 mm for nominal diameter 1 and 2 value as default. Go to Create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 7 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw partial ellipse and lock to reference plane. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Go to left view. Adjust void extrusion. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 1 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material.
This is created spring parametric family which created in face base model. I will use and load this created family into this main family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family and set 0 for elevation from level. And click apply. Select the family. Assign height parameter to spring height. Keep type and click OK. Assign outer diameter parameter to spring OD. Keep type and click OK. Assign wire diameter parameter to spring wire diameter. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for spring height parameter. Click apply. Add formula for spring outer diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. Insert dimension image for reference. Go to family type. Create a new family type for diameter 25 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 40 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 50 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 65 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 80 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 100 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select pipe connector and associate diameter parameter to nominal diameter 1. Select pipe connector and associate diameter parameter to nominal diameter 2. Select pipe connector and select fitting for system classification. Go to family type. Check and play the family type. Click apply and OK. Save the family. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 74 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select model line. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane.
Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to Family Category and Parameter. Select Pipe Accessories for Family Category and select Valve Normal for Part Type. Select the Model Line. Edit Visibility Graphic Override. Uncheck Detail Level for Fine. And click OK. Go to 3D View. Select the Geometry. Edit Visibility Graphic Override. Uncheck Detail Level for Coarse and Medium. And click OK. Let's check how this family work in project. Insert and load this family into project. Check in 3D view. OK, safety valve revit family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.